Hi everyone, my name is Abdullah and welcome to my presentation on using multicolored tree search for optimizing tracker flight bases. My supervisor is Michael Brewer. The content we'll be covering are the overview of the problems and how we are formulating it, the main concept of our implementation, the status of our experiments, and we will end the presentation with the conclusion and future work. The problem we're trying to solve is to find the optimal traffic timing for a traffic signal for a given road network by maximizing some parameters. So whenever a traffic light is about to change its phase, we want to find the optimal timing for the next phase, given the network and all the positions of the cars in the network. Hence, we are formulating the problem as a single player game, where the network is the board and the cars are the moving pieces, and the optimizer is the player. So through search and simulation, the optimizer wants to come up with the best move possible. In this case, the optimal timing. So the main idea is to use Monte Carlo Tree Search, which is an iterative tree search algorithm that maintains a tree of choice sequences. We traverse a tree based on previous results until we reach a leaf node, and then we perform random simulation. Upon getting the simulation result, we backpropagate up the tree to update the node and edge statistics. This is done n times, and then the most visited edge is chosen. For our experiment, we're using SUMO for simulation. Now we will look at the current status of our experiments. For our initial experiments, we're using this road network with six intersections, with more cars traveling from north to south for a period of 10 minutes. As for Monte Carlo Tree Search, we're using 180 iterations with two minutes of random simulations. Our current methodology is to use SUMO along with MCTS with the help of TrackEye to perform experiments in order to find good objective functions and optimize MCTS's parameters, and then continue experimentation to achieve green wave with LRT movements. The problems we faced while using SUMO were that it was slow and used a large amount of memory due to memory leakage bug. The way we fixed the issues were we stopped loading the whole network every time, rather loaded the network once at the beginning and resetted all car positions and traffic light states for every MCTS iteration. As for the memory leakage, we reported the problem to the SUMO team and they were able to provide a fix quickly. Now the question is, does MCTS work for traffic scenarios? Looking at table one, we can see that when we are maximizing total distance traveled, MCTS outperforms random time selection in total distance, number of stops and delays. And when we are minimizing, the number of stops and delay is worse than random. The reason random performs better in number of trips is that there is a possibility that more shorter trips than longer trips are completed, which also explains why the total distance traveled is less. Also, 180 iterations may not be enough for MCTS to find the least values for minimization. We can clearly see that it has a better value than random in case of distance and number of stops. The different objective functions we are exploring at the moment are maximizing total distance traveled and the number of trips and minimizing the number of stops and the total delay. Furthermore, the MCTS parameters we are optimizing are the exploration constant, the number of iterations, and the simulation time length. The current MCTS parameter we are optimizing is the exploration constant, and we can see from table 2 that increasing the exploration constant yields us a better result. We are yet to find the highest value for this constant. All in all, we're trying to create an online traffic control system where we can give it a road network with LRT and car positions, and it will return us an optimal traffic signal timing. The initial results of MCTS are very promising, but it requires tuning. Therefore, our future work is to fine-tune MCTS along with parallelizing it, and also create a neural network that will produce rollout policy values. I would like to thank Autonomous System Initiative for funding this research. And thank you for listening, and feel free to ask any questions.